Alrighty, how's it going guys? I'm Solo Ben and welcome back once again to Carex Drifting Online. So in today's video, we have another 180 drift tune for you and that is going to be for the MyFern. So before we get into it, you know, just want to ask you guys, how was your weekend? Maybe it's still a weekend for you if you're in America. Hopefully you had a great weekend spending with friends, family, all that good stuff. Did you get up to any antics with cars and all that good, kind of good stuff? If you did, let me know down in the comment section below. What did you guys do on the weekend? And hopefully you had a great time. Me personally, I didn't get up to much. You know, really just busy around the house with my partner and my kids and stuff like that. I was actually going to go to an event, a racing event, this weekend. Uh, but unfortunately, I just ran out of time. I was going to record it for you guys. It was going to be one of my first real life vlogs. But, you know, all in good time. I want to make sure that when I do start doing real life vlogs for car events and drift events and stuff like that, I want to make sure I have the proper equipment and I can produce the best quality video that I personally can by myself. So I wasn't too worried about missing out on it, but you know, it would have been good to get some drifting on the channel for some real life cars and stuff like that. I think that would have been cool, but uh, don't worry, we'll be doing some real life stuff fairly, fairly soon. Um, but like I said, all in good time. But with that out of the way guys, like I said, hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully you had a great weekend, and uh, let's get into the build. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and throw down a quick uh, run real quick on Red Rock. Now, the reason I chose Red Rock as well, it's got some pretty nice tight corners. Uh, I can showcase how wide I can go for this car, so I'll just go wide to start off with, and then we'll try and pick up the speed, and we might take that alternative route. But uh, this car is really easy to drive, guys. It's, uh, it's user-friendly for pretty much everyone, whether if you're experienced or it's your first day on the game. You're not going to have that much of an issue. Uh, compared to some builds that you see out there, they're so competitive that it's it's damn near impossible for some of these newer players to pick these cars up and to actually make them work. Uh, this isn't one of those cars. This is a car where you can definitely make so many changes to this to make it way more competitive. But uh, these are bass tunes, so like I said, these are purely for people who just want to be able to use this car. These are the builds for people that have been struggling, they just cannot figure these cars out. These are really good bass tunes. This is a good platform to start with and then work from there to go ahead and make a way better build. Uh, you can just use the build how it is, there's no issue with it. But I would probably make a few tweaks myself to make it a little bit more snappy for my own personal style. I know you guys don't like super snappy builds. Also, I know a lot of people have been asking me, yo, can you build some 90 builds? Now, you can actually use all of my 180 drift tune builds in 90s as well. They do work. The only thing you have to do is lower the power. That's it. Lower the power, that's all you need to do, right? That will solve the limiting issue because you will limit bang a little bit more aggressively in 90s because you will have less grip. But obviously, if you lower the horsepower, you won't hit limit as quick and well you'll be able to drive through a lot of those corners a little bit easier and well you'll have more grip so you'll feel like you're running a hundreds on the 90s and I was driving in fourth gear through that section and I didn't even realize because I'm too busy talking so as you can see this car handles with absolute ease no issue at all I'm literally just feathering the throttle as you can see I'm not going super hard I'm not trying to be super aggressive I'm just having a nice chill relaxed drift run right here I'm not trying to be all crazy and competitive just showcasing that this car is easy you can talk you can do all sorts of, all sorts of things in the car at the same time while you're uh, you know still laying down a pretty solid line here so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here jump into the um, better change gear jump back into the uh, menu there and show you guys the tune setup so as you can see, this thing is super, super easy to drift. It's it's literally not even difficult at all to drift this thing. A lot of people do struggle with this car. They find it's a little bit sluggish, but I've got it to the point where it's a happy medium with plenty of wiggle room for more power, less power, more grip, less grip, all that kind of stuff. All That's where all of your own personal preference comes into play, and you can make the build feel like it's your own. Uh, this is just the base tune, but I think it's a pretty solid base tune. So we're going to start off, like always, in the paint section. And it's a pretty basic paint here, guys. I've got gloss black all over the car. And then I've just made the doors a gloss gray. And I've matched that with the wheels as well. 
Uh, pretty simplistic. I'm kind of liking this look at the moment because it gives me a good base platform to go ahead and put some crazy designs on it. Um, but I haven't gone too crazy in designs lately because the game has been a little bit stale here on console. So um, I haven't really, you know, been bothered to do some crazy deliveries. So over to the mods, we are using the ultimate mod. For the body kit, we are using D-Master. Front headlights, R&T. From bumper, D-Master. For the hood, R&T. Side mirrors, uh, D-Master. Roll cage, custom performance. Side skirts, missile. For the trunk, stock. Rear bumper, custom bodyworks. For the spoiler, R&T. For the tail lights, D-Master. For the exhaust, slide performance. And over to the wheels, I wanted to use some old school looking wheels, so I went with these ones right here under D-Spec. And I like them because they remind me of the old school Drift Hex, which was like one of the OG wheels everyone loved running back in the day. Mainly because I was super cheap. <laughs> they were dirt cheap. Alrighty, now onto the tune setup. Alrighty, there we go guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this build. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Be sure to go check out all of my other tune setups on the channel if you are new here. And with that out of the way guys, thanks for watching. Also, don't forget, I do have a Discord now, so please check the link down in the description. It's also on my homepage. I have membership set up now, and I have some merch as well, but you just gotta see it on the homepage. A bunch of shit I'm setting up, but anyways, I just thought I'd throw that in there real quick. Um, you know, don't feel like you need to do any of that crap if you don't want to. Just want to put it out there. But with that said, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Solo Bennett, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.